So I'm pretty certain at this stage in the game, you've gotten your hands on Luke FZ's Frame Generation mod, whether you supported him on Patreon or got it via the leak. Um, and I just want to emphatically state, I'm not leaking the file. It has been leaked in mass by a whole bunch of gaming Discord servers. I'm merely going to be showing you in this video how to install it into various games. Before I do that, guys, what I will do is in the description of this video, I'll put the same link. You can follow this and if you can afford to, I highly recommend uh, donating or, or joining Luke's this, uh, uh, Patreon because the work he's doing really is breathing new life into all the cards. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it into seven different games. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to my, uh, to my Google Drive. It's going to be to this frame gen folder and then you're going to find seven different folders here. Um, it's got individual files for the games and then you can just place it into your gaming folder. So let's get to it. Right, so this is Spider-Man Remastered on a GTX 1650 uh, with no frame generation. And just to show you my settings, uh, as you can see I'm using AMD FSR 2.1 on quality and then graphics I'm just on the medium settings preset. Um, even without frame gen, it is a pretty damn decent experience. A Spider-Man Remastered after a good couple of updates is pretty well optimized. But what can we do with Gram Generation? Right, and so this is Spider-Man Remastered on his GTX 1650, but with that frame generation mod activated and instantaneously you can see the frames have gone up, but anywhere between 20 to about 35 frames. Um, in terms of visual fidelity, there's hardly anything noticeable. Um, it looks good and it runs a stuff load better. Uh, there's no problem with the UI. Let me just show you my settings quickly. Um, okay, so obviously once I put in the uh, frame generation mod, I can change to DLSS quality, and then obviously I enable frame generation, and I'm using the medium settings preset as previously. And guys, as you can see, it's it was playable without the frame generation mod, but the frame generation mod just makes this game feel super fast. To install the mod, all you need to go is go to the description of this video. There will be a link to my Google Drive. Just follow that link. It's going to bring you to the frame gen folder. Just double click on Spider-Man Remastered and then just download all these files. So incidentally, these are the same files that are used for Miles Morales. It works just as well. It works gloriously. You'll love it. So guys, um, just go ahead and download that once you have finished downloading that just go to this folder just copy all these files and then locate where your spider-man game is saved on your hard drive and then all you do is simply just paste it in this folder yes okay and then what you can do is just boot up spider-man remastered and in settings straight away you'll notice that now all of a sudden you've got an upscale method for DLSS super resolution, set it to quality and then make sure that frame generation is selected as well. And then graphics obviously set it according to what you want. Um, and then once you boot up, don't be alarmed, uh, there is slight little glitching as you boot up the game, but it's not in game, it's only the loading screen. You'll notice there are a couple of checker checkerboards on the loading screen here. The Sony intro, but in game it's not the same. Now you'll be able to play this game at 20 to 30 extra frames, and this mod works gloriously. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. Other than that, have a good day. It's people like you. Cheers.